Welcome back to One New York. We are awaiting a live briefing from the mayor. It was scheduled to start at 9.30. When it does begin, we will bring it to you live. But in the meantime, this morning, we are joined by Dr. Jaime Salas Rushford, uh, ER doctor at Coney Island Hospital. Yeah, and we should say doctor is straight off of an overnight shift there in the tent against all the weather elements this morning. And I have to say, of all the doctors that we've had on the show so far, I like to align myself with however calm they are. And so I'm wondering, you said you've been to hurricanes, you've been to other natural disasters. In comparison to those, or even just this on its own, where is your where's your optimism for for our life going forward here in New York? Where are you on the scale right now? Uh, New York is resilient. I you know I've been coming here since I finished residency and did residency here, so New York is going to be better than ever. So it just keeps going, and just seeing the people coming in and the patients and how they are reacting to this and and no and you know. Obviously, there's a lot of fear, a lot of uh, uncertainty, and this virus keeps changing. But for the most part, everybody says, "I'm going to bid this. This is not going to. This not. This is not going to. Uh, you know, take a New Yorker down." Which is, it's, it's really funny. It gives you a lot of uh, 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 good humor, and and everybody's actually been very good. Yes, we're we're stressed. We have so much, you know, hurt and suffering. But on top of all that, we're actually keeping a good. Uh, Good humor with the patients. We're trying to make them comfortable. We're trying to entertain them. Obviously, they they have to go themselves. They're gonna be with family members, so we're facetiming. We're gonna put music on the back. We're trying to keep it in a way that they actually, you know, feel okay. It's not easy to be here, mm -hmm. and with some disease that even ourselves don't understand completely. Uh, Pamela on uh, on Facebook uh, saw those pictures that we shared from your Instagram earlier and was asking how how to follow you. That is Fit Body MD. On Instagram, Fit Body MD on Instagram, <laughs> Pamela is the answer to your question, uh, Doctor Salas Rushford. Uh, I, I want to know what you would like of New Yorkers. What can we do to make your job easier? What behavior can we change to make sure that we get back to normal as quickly as we can? Well, I, I think this is something that everybody has to ch chip in, right? Whoever needs to stay at home, stay home. Social distancing, stay social distancing. But what happens if you have symptoms in your home? Nobody's really tackling that. And what I've seen, all the patients that I've seen, I've noticed something. Those who come to the ER, to the tent, that are, are having symptoms for many days, not getting treated, you know, not addressing the, the, the fever, not addressing uh, the, the, the dehydration, are faring poor, are getting more sick quicker. Uh, so, you know, if you have fever, if you have cough, you can actually get Tylenol, whatever you use for fever, whatever you use for the cough, whatever you're dehydrated, just go and take your, your uh, hydration liquid. But do take everything. Don't be waiting for us to give you the test to make sure you have it or don't have it. The most important part for everybody in New York and to make our lives easier is that you have symptoms treated right away. A lot of people are going to get, are going to heal quicker and don't have to come here and get exposed to people that already have the disease in a more advanced stage. And, and other people are going to come here with a more minor symptoms that still need us. And actually, we can provide better service for people and the medicine is going to work better. So if you have any, any symptoms, just tackle them ahead. Do not wait for us to right. do a test and confirm it. And tackle them ahead, uh, you mean uh, keep your fever down with Tylenol, rest, fluids, I think you had said right. vitamin C in your notes to us ahead of this. You know, uh, it, it, take, take a supplement. Uh, you, you know, if you have chronic medications, take them. Uh, if you want to know what vitamins and one things to take for immune system, go to reputable websites. You know, there's so many good research out there from ahcc.net society to uh, vitamin D society to different vitamin C websites that actually have real, legit information. Those things you need to follow. And, you know, if you have asthma, take your asthma medication. If you have fever, take your fever medication around the clock. It really helps. People think it doesn't. But the most important thing about this disease is to tackle symptoms very quickly. And that way you can save more lives, have less suffering, and we as doctors can actually help you better.
And so with the long shifts that you're working, are you also trying in the little sleep that you're getting? I, you told us earlier you were a vegetarian. Are you also taking certain vitamins and trying to exercise? And, you know, how do you even find the energy or brain space for any of that? Well, I, I, I promised myself I was going to take an hour and a half a day to try to keep active. So I need to sleep. I need to get my, my mind straight, right? But an hour and a half going up and down the stairs in the, build, the apartment building I'm staying at. So I go up and down 10 flights of stairs. I try to walk as much as I can. If I need to take the subway, I don't take the subway right next to the apartment I'm staying. I take it a few blocks away. So I'm really trying to make the most informed, intelligent food decisions I can take. And if, whether I can buy food and keep it in the refrigerator, I buy at a time. Supplement-wise, you know, this is what I do for a living. I, I do a lot of nutrition for my, my, uh, my patients. I use a lot of uh, multivitamins. I use uh, zinc, antioxidants, vitamin D, supplements like selenium, another mushroom supplement like HCC that I take, but, uh, vitamin C, vitamin D. And I also, obviously not now, but uh, when, when, I, uh, when, I, uh, when all this is over, you can actually get your vitamin levels in the lab. You go to PMD doctor. And now is the time to actually really take care of yourself. There's no reason why we couldn't walk four blocks, right? With social distancing. There's no reason why we can go up and down the stairs a few times. There's no reason why we can choose salads versus fast food. Uh, so, and the most important thing, if you actually have medical conditions and you have chronic conditions, if you haven't picked up your medication like asthma medication, now yeah. is the time to go get them, take them, and be, you know, keep, keep taking them. Because... Again, a lot of patients that never had asthma or had little asthma are coming mm -hmm. with whopping asthma through the tent. Dr. Salas Rushford, we've got to interrupt you and uh, and wind it down here. Thank you again for uh, for joining us today. Mayor de Blasio has just come up to the podium for his daily briefing. We'll join the mayor live now. Even though sometimes it's hard to see. It.